Hello, we have Valentine with us today. I'll move out the way. <laughs> so you can see her. That's my creaky chair. Now, I had a plan. I have a plan. Mercury is retrograde. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it in every single area of my life. I do tend to get it worse in the beginning of the phase of the cycle. I'm, let me know if you're feeling it. Leave me a comment below. Now, I had this great plan. Of course, Mercury is retrograde. So the plan isn't quite going to go according to plan. This is what I thought. I thought from now until the end of Mercury retrograde, I'm going to do major arcana because I feel that all astrological signs affected by Venus retrograde for another, well, till the 15th of April, and then really until the beginning of May, mid-May. And now good old Mercury retrograde, we have all got some major arcana energy to be dealing with. Simple, you might think. So I find myself a spare rider weight tarot pack. Who doesn't have a spare rider weight tarot pack just knocking around? And I think I will take out the major arcana. So I do that. Here's the major arcana. Then I think, be logical, Gemma, Mercury's retrograde, count them before you go on. And I keep counting them, and every time I count them, I've got 23. Now, I might be being really stupid. I'm prepared to admit that. <laughs> it happens. No, look, understanding the major arcana, the tarot bible, okay? So we don't argue with the tarot bible. There are 22 archetypes. Now, I know that there are 22. <sighs> Something's gone wrong. I've done something stupid. But these all... I've got to have done something really... Yes! Six of Wands. <laughs> okay. Now, this is your daily tarot reading. Major Arcana, this is so weird, shuffling with tiny weenie. Major Arcana only, and I'll take a couple of oracles to go with it as well. This is for Tuesday, the 11th of April. Can I just say thank you, thank you, thank you for carrying on subscribing. I got 100 subscribers just yesterday alone. I'm totally and utterly utterly chuffed thank you for watching sharing with your friends and for shouting out to the other youtubers that i'm shouting out to as well myself it's all lovely really really appreciate it and also for booking loads of private readings and i am being organized <laughs> i have got a list i'm going through it in date order according to who booked when so do not fret uh, you will have your private reading very soon. I've emailed everyone just to keep them all in the loop because I am busy. Um, if you do want a private reading, you can still book. Use the PayPal link below and I'll send you an email. Bloody well knew that card was going to come up. <laughs> oh, people. Okay, we're kicking off day one. Major Arcana Gate. Let's go for it. We get the death card, day one. Yes, actually, honestly, and I know you, a lot of tarot readers say this because people are frightened of the death card. I've learned to welcome the death card. I've learned to welcome it. It is transformation. You can't not be transformed by the planetary aspects we have at the moment. Stuff we want to cling on to, we can't cling on to, it will not stick. And stuff we never even knew that we could fix kind of comes back and fixes itself. You know, all the hard work you might have put into fixing something in the past, and it just goes like that. And it's repaired while Mercury's retrograde, or even Venus retrograde, if it's to do with relationships. The other side of that, I mean, it's at least in the upright, we like that. It means that we can welcome this positive, transformative change. And do you know what? The only thing that particularly hurts us is resistance to change. 
We are in a constant state of flux. As we said the other day, Heraclitus, everything changes. You never step in the same river twice. Now, just want to take loads of cards, but I'm trying to like slightly restrict myself. Okay, I'm going to go for a couple of these with it. Actually, just one of these and one of the others. It's you that's sticking out, mister, so we're going to have you. And let me just take one of these. Sorry, that was Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels Oracle card. This little blob, isn't there? I think that's something that's on my window that's making a blob. Now I'm looking at Sonia. Woo! Coquette. Ask your guides as well. We should find that coming back out of this retrograde period, we have cleared a lot of things that we actually didn't need. It's just an uncomfortable process. <sighs> Venus retrograde, I can live with at the moment. Mercury, my God, honestly, I really have to try and be on my best behavior. I really have to try and be my most zen when I'm not feeling zen. I don't know what the word is for anti-zen feeling. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. So we've got nature as well. And this does help, doesn't it? Is there a, is there a river? No, but she's out in the woods. If we can get outside, it does help us to shake this kind of, I feel, tension. I mean, I do feel a lot of tension when Mercury's retrograde. I can't communicate with people quite in the way that I want to. Although I do find if you are into things like astral projection, telepathy, spiritual things, it's a particularly good time for it because communication is kind of the channels to me are sort of it's going to sound weird i'm giving you a weird warning the channels feel like they're doubled i don't know if you ever saw um a film <laughs> i never remember the name of any films right matthew mcconaughey sci-fi film i hate sci-fi but i like this film it was about time travel probably should have thought this through before i started the video if you know what the film's called, send me a comment. It was about two or three years ago. Yeah, totally can't remember, but you'll know the one I mean. Look it up, Matthew McConaughey, Time Travel. There's a bit in that film where they show you the fourth dimension, I think it is, and they do time travel. I'm not into time travel. I'm not particularly into sci-fi, but by God, incredibly amazing visuals. A Mercury retrograde somehow gives you access, I think, to other mental dimensions that you wouldn't have had before. And it's interesting to have a play. Now, we've also got higher self-judgment. I think I know what that means, <laughs> she said awkwardly. Yeah. See these two people having a row? That's me and nearly everyone I spoke to today. And there's a magnifying glass there. Okay, put away our magnifying glass just for now. It's easy to say, isn't it, not to judge other people and not to judge ourselves, but we're going to really need this over the next three weeks because what Hillary Clinton would call misspeaks are going to happen all the time. Weird texts taken the wrong way conversations that boil up out of nowhere, rows that happen, um, accidental texts going to the wrong person that blows a secret, all that stuff. It's all part of transforming. This is what planets do and it helps move us on from our comfortable ruts. But it's, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one and we're going to need all our I wish I had a better word for zenness, but Mercury's retrograde, it's probably, I can't, you know, I've just told you all about a film that I can't even remember the name of. 
<laughs> which is really annoying. And as soon as I switch the camera off, it will, it will all come back to me. It's a really good film if you want to watch it. Judgment. Put it to one side. If that's all you can do, if the most you can do is put a zip in it and think, I'll come back to this later, then that's a good thing. If you can actually get into being in nature and feeling more at one with nature and also watching the process, considering in the UK at the moment, we're in spring. Watch the process. It will give us some idea of how it is, how plants die and are reborn in spring. This is all part of the same process. I hope some of that made sense to you today. That's your daily reading for all astro signs. For Tuesday the 11th of April, do also check out, I've got my monthlies up, which is 2017 April for all the signs, Aries through to Pisces. So on my playlist, I'll put a thing up so that a blob comes up with that on it saying you can watch it. And also, yeah, come and check out the dailies every day. I upload mostly English time, whatever that's called. I'll have to find out what that is too. Um, about five o'clock-ish. So come and check that out. And if you do want a private reading, PayPal link below. See you soon. Bye.